Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Doesn't it feel great to finally have Team of the Year cards in packs, Team of the Year icons in packs? We've been looking forward to this promo for the past couple of weeks, and we're finally in the middle of it. It's finally here, it's finally ongoing, and I want to talk about everything that is happening because of Team of the Year. Yesterday's content, a little bit lackluster on some areas, and of course, the market is flying with prices going up like crazy, as we expected, because people open packs yesterday even though it's only the attackers and packs a lot of people were opening their saved up packs opening lightning rounds that got people coins and the market is booming i want to talk about maybe some times where we need to sell some of the cards that have gone up so much already and what to expect for today's content including potentially a very big leaked SBC. Maybe not today, but we have to talk about one of the big time leaked SBCs that is going to come soon during Team of the Year. So all of that and more on today's video. If you're excited for it and if you're excited to be inside of Team of the Year, finally hit the thumbs up and subscribe if you're new. Let's first talk about the Team of the Year content that we had yesterday. Of course, just the Team of the Year attackers and packs, Messi, Benzema, and Mbappe. These guys' prices are moving all over the place. They were heavily supplied yesterday in the first two to three hours as people were opening saved up packs and opening a lot of the tradable lightning rounds. Now, since then, a lot of these guys have gone up in price. Messi is actually up over a million coins. He was 3.8 mil, now 4.9 million coins. So actually, some insane rises on these cards. Mbappe was 8.2. He is now 9.5. Super duper rare card. And Benzema, one that is the most affordable team of the year card on the market right now, but one that is like swung in price a lot as well. Benzema was down in the 1.9 nine mil range he is up to 2.1 mil and these cards are just where all the demand is right now on this game especially the team of the year icons right team of the year cards and team of the year icons these guys are also very rare david beckham was 2.2 million coins now is 3.4 with the absolutely insane pace boost plus 11 pace that they gave this card perez with the five star skills zanetti pirlo uh hullet all of the team of the year icons are very rare and a lot of them have gone up in price and a ton of coins have been made on those cards. So that was part of the content yesterday, of course, very hard to pack, very tough to pack, but really insane cards. And I thought they did a good job with the team of the year boost, right? Benzema with the five-star weak foot, Messi with the work rates being high low. That was very nice. So GG's to EA with those. We'll see more team of the year cards in packs tomorrow on Sunday. Now for the rest of the content, Objective Gundawan, it's just a moments card. It's not a team of the year moments or a team of the year honorable mention, but this one just doesn't look like it has a big enough boost. If it was 80 pace, 80 defense, and 80 physical, I think a lot of people would be a bit more excited, even if there was 90 dribbling or 90 uh, passing. But the easy thing about this is you can do it in six matches in squad battles or rivals, so it's not that hard to do. So that's a W, four star, four star on the Gundawan, not very Terrible there, but just decent, right? Just okay. And then in SBCs, it's just kind of mid. And I want to talk about this Ramos for, Ramos for a bit because a lot of people are doing this SBC, right? Now, don't get me wrong. I think a lot of people are doing this because of the name, because it's Sergio Ramos, because it's PSG links, and because, honestly, people opened a lot of packs yesterday, and they would need to put those packs and put that fodder, what they get from those packs, into something. Now, I think this card is definitely overpriced because the stats don't warrant the SBC cost, in my opinion, 600,000 coins for the Sergio Ramos. You can see it's kind of a battle between who thinks it's good and who thinks it's bad. 2,600 upvotes, almost 2,000 downvotes. I think that this card on the market would only be like 350,000 coins, maybe 400K, which is why I would dub this as not the best value unless you're going to craft it. This is more of like an emotional SBC, one that kind of hits you in the feels because it's not, you know, you look at it and it's not a super duper meta card. He's going to be good in game. He's going to be pretty good, right? He might even be great. But I look at the sprint speed. I look at the high medium work rates. And for me, especially for my team where this is, and I just think for the value, it's not a must do. So if this is something that means a lot to you, if you're a Madrid fan or if you're a PSG fan, you've known Ramos for a long time, watched him play, just a card that is emotional for you, then you get it done, right? It's going to be craftable during team of the year. It is out for 30 days, plenty of time to get this done. So don't be in a rush to get this SBC done. I just wish they would have given him a little bit better stats if they were going to put it out at this price point. I wish he had 85 pace, 80 dribble, 80 passing, and at least 90 physical as well. I wish they would have given him a bit bigger of a boost to warrant the 600k price range in my opinion. So that's just my thought there. And then this one to me, you're going to turn in an 83 rated squad to get an 83 
two of them back, like that is just no, like no thanks. Make that an 82 rated squad and then maybe we think about it. But that to that, that right there from EA was just a little bit confusing. And, and that was all the content yesterday, right? They did give us a free pack, which was nice. But basically, that was all the content that we had yesterday on this game besides the new cards and packs, of course. So it seemed just kind of like a mid day, right? And that is why I want to start talking about this market because what a lot of people did was they wanted to go out and try to at least have a chance at packing a team of the year. And I understand wanting to open your team of the year packs or the packs you've saved up like right right away because you know team of the year is fresh it's just starting the big boys are in packs Benzema Mbappe Messi like oh I'm gonna pack a team of the year today well a lot of people open saved up packs even though we've been saying all week and a lot of you guys know it's not the best time to open your packs and honestly you shouldn't be uh, I still stand by that I don't think it's a very good time to be opening packs at all right now I opened only some specific attacker only packs and the rest I'm gonna be saving for the full team which we do believe will be out this next Thursday with honorable mentions on Friday. So we're still about six days away from when the real pack spam kind of begins, right? But uh, with this, these cards being out, that was enough for some people to go out and open packs. That puts coins on the market and everybody thinks about team of the year and, you know, the team of the year market crashed and they knew that prices were low. And then, you know, yesterday is kind of like where the switch flips, right? And cards go from being very low and panic sold and nobody wants to buy cards to their team. And like I said, the switch flips and cards just skyrocket cards everywhere on this game are going absolutely crazy especially some of those psg links if we take a look at Verati, Verati's centurions card is up over a hundred thousand coins from where he was a couple days ago 600k right now for this Verati. he was 500k like two days ago hakimi who's getting a team of the year this one for me is a sell this guy is up over a hundred thousand coins he was like 500k yeah, he's about 500,000 coins right now. This, to me, is going to be almost the price of his Team of the Year card come next week when his Team of the Year Hakimi card is in packs, his 94 rated. I think it's going to be 550 to 600K. So the fact that this card is 500K right now, this is one of those cards right now with how much the market has gone up in the past 24 hours or less than that now, actually about 12 to 14 hours, I would sell a card like that right so just be careful as you're looking around the market and you're thinking like nate i maybe bought some cards for my team uh and they've gone up like crazy do i need to be selling some of these cards cap de Villa yesterday went from 450k 460 all the way to 560 up a hundred thousand coins in a matter of a couple hours that is legit what the most of the meta cards on the market did yesterday and this is how i would explain it to you right cap de Villa, before this whole world cup market crash was about four hundred and ninety-two thousand coins and what is he right now 550 the way i would explain it to you is if there are cards that you invested in or that you bought uh, whether it's for your team even or whether it's just for an investment if they have gone up to levels that are at or above the pre team of the year market crash those are ones that i would think about unless it's something that's in your team and you plan to have it for a long time of course enjoy the card have fun i'm not telling you to sell the cards that you just bought to put in your team and use but if there are cards that are above or at the price that they were before this whole market crash started a couple of weeks ago I would consider thinking about selling those unless those are super meta tier cards like this Kamavinga. You know, we've got more Real Madrid cards coming out that could make his card go higher. But if it's just some other card that's maybe, um, you know, a past special from an out of packs promo team. Now, one, I guess, um, you know, an exception to the rule would be like this Trent Alexander Arnold, right? Trend hasn't been 230k since the first day that he was in packs. Is this card worth more than that? Technically, he might be as the best, second best Prem right back uh, in this game behind Kyle Walker, I would, I would assume, and, and say, you know, this card could continue to go up some. So I'm not saying that this is going to be a peak time for all parts of the market whatsoever. I do believe that some prices will continue to go up, but again, just remember. There are a lot of SBCs to come. There are a lot of other pieces of content that will be coming to this game that will impact prices, right? So not all cards will be rising up throughout the next two to three weeks during, te during team of the year. Some cards will get, you know, overshadowed by a new SBC that comes out, right? One of the leaked SBCs is a big time midfielder. Could that hurt Kamavinga's price in like a week or two? 
maybe because those players are from the same nation so just be careful what you have again i'm not telling you to sell cards that you bought for your team because i want you to enjoy those right FIFA is about having fun whether it's you open packs today and you had fun doing it whether you bought cards for your team or you tried out a new team of the year or a team of the year icon just be in the information and be in the know that some of those prices are up a lot from where they were. Some of it might be too much with what content is coming, but have fun with the cards, right? While the market is up and lively like it is. So that's the only thing I would just kind of put a cautionary tale to the wind yesterday. It was a great day to make coins and I'm a little disappointed with myself. Just to be completely transparent and honest, I could have made a lot more coins yesterday than I actually did. I sold this vintage way too early. He's up at like 900k and I sold him at 799. I bought this at 700k flat. You know, I did make some good trades. I made 200k on this messy. I made what 60, 70k on this, uh, uh, 20k on this. Like I made some really good trades and I'm still working the market right now flipping some cards, but I should have bought more cards earlier last week and held on to them. One thing, when I look back to last year, and obviously when you have big market events like this, a lot of people made coins, a lot of you guys I'm sure did, but I'm sure some of you guys as well were like, man, Nate, I wish I would have done something different. And last year I did better. Last year, I bought more cards and held on to them through the promo, and that's what I should have done. Like, I should have bought more cards earlier in the week and just sat on those because I knew that what was going to happen yesterday and what happened to this market and what's going on right now is prices were just going to explode on the meta side of things uh, because I knew that people were going to open packs. That's the, what they always do when they see Team of the Years are in packs. They just go out and open, even though it's only the attackers. They just go and open, right? And that makes the market go crazy so should have trusted my gut a little bit more on that one but hey we didn't and we're gonna move on and it's a learning experience right that's how this game can be if you choose to take it that way and, and not get super frustrated about it i'm not frustrated i'm ready to open packs and rip packs for team of the year but i was trying to make a few extra coins to build more packs later in this next week so that's kind of the whole market situation and scenario except for fodder we haven't talked about fodder yet and speaking of fodder Yesterday, we talked about the potential of would fodder go up a little bit and then go down later in the nighttime with supply or would fodder go up at all because of that 87 plus player pick um, for the heroes that was going to be refreshed. Now, it refreshed yesterday and evidently it didn't have enough demand to outweigh the supply on fodder because fodder is down look at the 83s 1000 coins they've returned back to earth 85s being extinct at 15 16k now back down at 9000 coins 84 is three and a half 86 is 14,000 coins a lot of your mid to low tier fodder was exactly what we said in yesterday's video was going to go down and it did your high tier fodder your 90s and 91s have maintained their higher prices that's because in my opinion people are still going out and doing that ramos card and there's a couple high rated squads in that which need that 90 91 rated fodder also all the icon squads that are out there and when we talk about sbcs there is still a ton of hype for a player of the month mbappe and that's another aspect of the market that i think we all saw some crazy movements on yesterday mbappe's cards absolutely exploded yesterday from going down to 700,000 coins all the way up to about 780. Gold Mbappe is out of packs and he just keeps going a little bit higher and higher and especially was really high after that um, initial bounce because uh, his play of the month card has not dropped yet and especially his informs too, right? Mbappe's inform card, 92 rated, was 1.3 million coins. He is now all the way back up to the high 1.5s because that player of the month SBC has not been dropped in the game. And the longer that we go without it, the more and more people will be kind of like not expecting it to come. So there is potential that Mbappe, I guess, could get dropped today. But the more and more and the longer and longer it goes, the more I think that maybe EA is going to not release an Mbappe player of the month SBC and just not release the SBC altogether. So we're not out of the woods yet. It could be today. It could be sometime this next week. But just be careful believing or even investing 100% that an Mbappe player of the month SBC is going to come. I think we all would love it. We all would like to see that SBC because it'd be very craftable during team of the year with upgrade packs next week but it's definitely not a guarantee. So be careful if you're holding high rated fodder for that. I mean, if you're holding high rated fodder, you have the current content on your side with icons. You have the current SBCs like the Ramos, that flashback leak that we're going to talk about in a second. Like you have that side of stuff on your side, especially with this SBC um, expiring on Sunday, probably have another um, icon pack or hero pack released that could keep fodder in higher prices. But 
that's kind of an overview of the fodder market for right now. A lot of those lower tier to mid tier cards down like crazy. Now, we've been mentioning these leaks. We've been talking about what is going to be coming out today on Saturday. Let's go through it. And let's start with the massive leak because I'm sure some of you guys saw this. This is mental, okay? This is a flashback SBC during Team of the Year that like comes to your mind first. When you think of a flashback that is deserved, that needs to happen, that is the most hype and desired in the community, it's Paul Pogba, and he's getting a flashback. Varane last year, Pogba this year, center mid Pogba. This is, of course, a prediction on the stats. These stats are kind of based off his massive Team of the Year card that he had in FIFA 16, one of the most legendary and iconic Team of the Years ever when he was at Juve. Of course, at Juve again in this league, of course, playing right now while well, injured, but of course, you know, at Juve. I don't know if the stats are going to look this good on this card against stats or prediction, but this could be an absolutely incredible flashback SBC. Now, when would this drop is the real question. Is this going to be today? I really do not think it's going to be today. If you remember, we had two big flashback SBCs last year in FIFA 22. We've talked about it a bit already, but we had the Harry Kane flashback and the Rafael Varane flashback, and that Rafael Varane did not come out until later while I think it was about when the full team was in packs, or at least in the later part of the first week of team of the year. I would be very surprised if this dropped today. Back-to-back -back days of flashbacks just doesn't make sense. So I'm looking towards the middle of next week, or sorry, the middle of this coming week for a time for when this Paul Pogba would drop. People have already started to invest, though. A lot of your Juve links, like the Chesney, have already started to skyrocket in price as people see this leak went out and invested. Chesney went from 46K all the way up to 56. I have a couple of these that I bought even before the leak because I was like, wow, 46K is pretty low. I was hoping that he would go back to about 55K on his own. And then all of a sudden we have this leak and he goes almost up to 60K at his peak. So a lot of your Juve cards are up for that. So watch out for this one. It's, it's going to be expensive, guys. It really is. Um, as long as they give him insane stats like this, and based off of the price that we saw for Ramos yesterday, I would imagine that a Paul Pogba SBC like this would be coming somewhere around in the realm of like a million to 1.2 million coins if he's going to have some really good stats like this. So, of course, it always does depend on the stats, but we will have to see. That's a huge SBC that will be upcoming. Watch your mid to top tier midfielders because, guys, even like Zidane, right? If you have been doing the Zidane SBC, does this make you think, man, I wish I wouldn't have done Zidane knowing that this is out? Maybe, right? It just comes down to the stats. But if you're thinking about starting Zidane, maybe you wait now that you've seen this Pogba. That sort of things are stuff to think through um, as we have that big leak right there. So now today's content on Saturday, what can we expect, right? No new Team of the Year cards are coming into packs. We've got the same attackers that are going to be in packs until tomorrow on Sunday, and that's when the midfielders will come into packs. We'll talk more about that tomorrow. Of course, more lightning rounds, more packs in the store. And if we speak about those packs in the store ea dropped plenty of them yesterday uh one of them in particular another 500 000 coin pack containing a hero card the new year special pack 75 rare gold players 80 or higher definitely a scam pack um and five of them guaranteed to be 86 plus so you do get some decent fodder from this and you do get a hero card and it's one of the only packs that actually gives you a, a above one percent chance of packing a team of your player but guys let me be honest 1% chance is not very high and not a lot of people are packing team of the years regardless, but this pack is there 3000 FIFA points 500k coins. This elite pack plus was one of those that was added to the code recently and they dropped it yesterday as a lightning round and now is like uh, 12 of them per day and they'll probably drop those again today. It's a very interesting pack. I think a lot of people will do these because these sold out yesterday when they did a lightning round of these. Um, they also dropped and they're not here anymore. But they dropped the ultimate, what was it, the ultimate attackers pack. It was 50 attackers. They dropped that as a lightning round. It was tradable, 185 plus out of those. And those sold super duper fast. So um, I would maybe expect to see those today. Again, there's going to be more lightning rounds, more supply. If you have any of the team of the year cards, um, you know, Messi, Mbappe, or Benzema, especially Benzema, right? Benzema was by far the most commonly packed card yesterday. And even from my price predictions for these team of the year cards, Benzema is already near the price that I thought he was going to be when the full team was in packs. I think I predicted him to be around 2 million coins. 
He's already 2.1 and he was even below 2 million coins at one point yesterday. Uh, these guys might have a slight rise into today on Saturday as people are super duper um, psyched to try them out. Although Messi and Mbappe are so expensive, they might not rise that much. Benzema, I can see going up just a little bit more. We'll just have to see. But then I might expect a little bit of panic heading into the content drop. If there is some panic there, watch out for some potential fluctuations. Again, this Benzema had like 40 or 50, basically like 40 pages of supply when we were checking through the compare price right here yesterday. There was a lot of them on the market, uh, but there's also just a ton of demand for people to try out this card specifically with the work rates, uh, high, high medium, and the five-star weak foot on this card. The absolutely insane deserved stats, but I mean, absolutely nuts card. People want to try it out. So just watch out and keep an eye on those. Same thing with the icons. They are so rare, guys. Like I, I'm telling you, Beckham, I can show you my transfer list. Beckham, I have a card that I watched and I almost bought at 2 million coins and I probably would have sold it at like 2.2 mil, 2.3 to make a quick flip out of it. And, and now this guy is super duper uh, rare at 3.3 million coins. Honestly, if I had any of these, I would consider selling uh, because these guys are just, they're crazy, crazy expensive. I don't believe that these, none, none of these team of the year icons, in my opinion, are actually worth their true price right now. They're just very rare. First time, first day in packs. What do we know about cards for the first day in packs? They're always the most expensive. So be careful if you're trading with these. I do expect their prices to slide down. Now with the team of the year icons, Again, I'm just, I don't know what's going to happen with these guys in the schedule because they're in packs for four days, which is going to be it coincide when the defenders come in packs. And then we're going to have different icons in packs. It says team one. So I'm guessing we're going to have like a team two that's going to be in packs for maybe four more days and then a team three for another set of four days. I'm really confused on what's going to happen with these team of the year icon releases and how they're going to spread them out during team of the year. So we'll have to keep an eye on that. But these guys are at least here until Tuesday. Uh, so they'll get packs applied more over the weekend as, of course, EA run lightning rounds during this weekend. Now, what SBC will we get today? If you remember last year, the second day of team of the year, long time ago, right? One year ago, we had a midfielder SBC, Lukas Paqueta moments. It was kind of a really insane SBC, actually. Um, I don't know what SBC we're going to get today. There's one other leak that we have right now. It almost feels like it would be too big of an SBC to drop on a Saturday. Usually Saturday SBCs are a bit kind of lackluster and, and not as hype as a Friday SBC player wise. We have a Gareth Bale end of an era. Could this be today? I mean, technically it's the only other leaked SBC that we have right now. Could there be something else today that is leaked or could we have zero SBCs at all? Yes, absolutely. But I would say there's at least a chance that this Gareth Bale would drop uh, today. There's not really any way to invest for a Gareth Bale. And again, these are stats predicted for this card as well. A lot of the MLS links are already up, right? This Landon Donovan uh, World Cup Hero card, 200,000 coins after being 160K during the, the week. This leak for Bale came out and his price shot up like crazy. This is the most desirable way to link that Bale card. But this card could go up further if Bale's card looks cracked, has great stats, um, and is not that bad of a price. I expect this Bale to be a bit cheaper because he has MLS links. But, you know, other than that, I'm not entirely sure what content could be dropping today uh, via the SBC section, unless there's any more packs that EA would potentially drop. Again, I think that ultimate attackers pack will come as a lightning round again today. We have an 82 times 10 that's been added to the code. And uh, these like Bundesliga, La Liga and Premier League packs, these are some of the upgrade packs that we will see during next week, right? This upcoming week, when we get the upgrade packs put out there, these are some of the packs that we should see as upgrades. So that's why those are added in there. And then of course the 10 coin pack, how did I not mention that? The 10 coin pack will probably return today. I opened mine, so I don't know uh, what the timer and what the refresh was on that, but that'll probably come back out again today. They could drop some other sort of SBC pack today to try to get us to do an SBC to open during team of the year uh, to get us to open packs, of course, because, you know, they love to get us to do that. And then keep an eye on this 88 plus mid prime or world cup icon. I think that's going to be either tomorrow on Sunday or on Monday. And then I guess the last shout is um, watch out for a flash SBC again. We had a flash SBC that was dropped an hour and a half before content yesterday. Could they do something like that again? I think that's absolutely possible. So keep an eye out for that. And if you have not done this yet, there is a free team of the year loan Messi in the moments store. 
absolutely incredible opportunity to use a lone Messi. Um, there's also a way to get a player pick between Mbappe and um, Benzema as well. I'm not sure where that is, but this guy was an absolute blast to use. So if you want to get a team that you're lone Messi, you can do that in the moment store and uh, you can try him out and use him in those moments to get some moments stars and to collect those um, this weekend or, or during this team of the year promo. So as you can see what I'm doing on the market right now, just a couple of quick flips. I'm not doing too much, uh, but just cards that went up a lot that kind of came back down. Like this Salah was 570, 580 yesterday, but I I've seen tonight that he has come down a bit from his high, his high price. So if I can catch one of these on a bid, I bought the Zakaria at 204. I saw him at 220. Uh, 225 actually yesterday and uh, Chelsea play early this morning so maybe we can ride a little bit of that game hype and uh, if they perform well maybe he goes up a little bit more and if not he maybe just goes back up to 220 and we'll be able to catch a little bit of profit there picked up a couple Harry Canes uh, for the grand price of under 180,000 coins he is still 180k I just believe that a card like this that didn't go up that much with the whole market skying yesterday some cards that only went up like seemingly a little bit I'm keeping my eye on those because um, I just feel like some other cards still have some more room to rise if there's you know not much content today on uh, Saturday some of that stuff might just go up a little bit further so that's kind of what I'm doing and then riding the hype of some undercuts that I got too. I picked up a Vinny at 1.2 flat he is now 1.33 I'm gonna hold out and maybe some of the Benzema hype today can push him a little bit higher and get some sales there but uh, that's gonna be the video for today guys W day for team one of team of the year I mean W day in terms of it's just team of the year that is here now right I mean the content yesterday besides Ramos was just pretty lackluster the team of the year icons are sick and there was a lot of movements on the market i'm sure a lot of you guys are making coins but for the content wise for like the whole scope of the game it can get better for sure we're just waiting for the whole team there to be in packs so that we can really start our pack opening and upgrade spam but if you enjoyed today's video smash a thumbs up on it comment down below if you have any questions and of course subscribe if you're new enjoy as much as you can the weekend league this week and i've heard gameplay is very disastrous especially as there's extra wins and player picks and rewards out there on the line i'll see you guys tomorrow for another video it's been nate foot account and i'll catch you guys later peace out